We are gathered here today in memory of, the, of three cadets. Three cadets that were supposed to be our future, future leadership in our battalion. This wasn't supposed to happen to our school. This was not supposed to happen in our battalion. This is not supposed to happen anywhere, but it did. This moment is a tragedy, but we'll move on. We need to be their voice. Whether you have an opinion of how change may occur, voice it. Don't sit in silence. This shouldn't have to occur to anyone in life. Our family is broken right now, but we'll come back so much stronger, and I promise them that we'll save seats for them at our military ball. They're here until they graduate. And we'll hand them out all their awards that they deserve. Their spirits will forever live on in our hearts and memories as we stand together as a family and learn to be able to walk again. I think ROTC cadets have something about them that are really just different from the normal batch, that they are more ambitious, that they want to achieve something in life. Three, three of your battalion the members laid their lives down for you guys to be here with us. That's amazing. But now it's our time to lead, unite, and spread love. Love defeats hate. The commitment that that you make every day through your work in the Junior ROTC is such a positive reflection on you. We believe it will be better. This has drawn us together and we are, are going to be uh, more a family as a school, but not matched at all by the family the camaraderie and the love that we have for each other in Junior ROTC. We're going to lift our balloon in the air for Elena, Peter, and Maureen. All of us alumni from whatever class we may come from, we are with you and you are our family. I know things are rough right now and it seems like they're not going to get it better, but they will. On the count of three. One, two, three. You will not let this keep you from a happy and successful future. And I know that you won't because of the people that have surrounded you. What you guys did and continue to do every day inspires people. You guys are heroes. Remember the incredible actions of your students, staff, and fellow cadets who are being praised in the news as the heroes they are. Guys, look, we're, we're here for you guys. We're, we're here to support you all um, in what you're going through as best we can. Um, and just know that we're thinking about you guys, praying about you guys, and, and we're living it in our everyday actions, all right? But you know, I, you're all gonna go through stuff, you're all gonna feel pain, and um, just don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to be there for each other and just, you know, just be there for each other. You all are strong and, and caring people um, and continue to be that way. You, you all have impressed the community with how you've come together and supported one another, so just, just keep it going. Um, you all are so strong. Since after seeing you guys be such a beacon of light and strength in this time of darkness, please call upon us alumni if you do need anything. Otherwise, stay strong, show the equal pride that I know and love like no one else can. <laughs>